virtual immersion programs are turning out to be just the ticket uh, for students who want to volunteer for work overseas or learn about foreign cultures during the pandemic. Some travel agencies in Singapore say they've each received inquiries from up to 10 schools over the past two months. Geraldine Yap with more. They may be stuck in Singapore because of COVID-19, but these students from ACS International are going ahead with their overseas service learning trip, just in a different format. They're giving Cambodian children a virtual lesson about protecting themselves from the pandemic, with one student even dressing up as the virus. The session includes a quiz Let us see. Okay, good. and a hand-washing demonstration. <laughs> I was a bit hesitant. You cannot physically interact with the kids and you cannot see like the environment they live in, like physically. But um, you still get to talk to them. It's better than nothing. There were many challenges. For example, the Wi-Fi connectivity problems and maybe audio technical issues. There's more of a barrier now as it's over digital, but we are still able to connect quite well with the kids over in Cambodia. It was a good replacement. The school says the virtual program helps students to continue doing community service while protecting them from COVID-19. Even local programs and all this, we actually don't allow them to go. But on the other hand, we know that there are people out there we want to reach out to. So at this point, this is the safest method for us to conduct any service program. Some schools are also looking into virtual cultural immersion workshops. While nothing beats the actual overseas experience, travel agencies are bringing countries across Asia to students through activities like whipping up local food or handicrafts. We sell Vietnam. We bring Vietnamese coffee to them. So when they drink the coffee and they see the workshop carry out, they can actually sort of like transport themselves there. We have actually had to try it to put in 360 degree uh, virtual tour, interviews with local guides, online quizzes like Kahoot to spice up the program such that they, they, they don't uh, fall asleep or they lose attention. With budget and time constraints less of an issue compared to physical tours, Ms Cheng says more schools are exploring the idea, especially as travel is unlikely to resume in the near future. They've received inquiries from schools from kindergartens all the way to polytechnics up till next year.